Welcome to Current Report, your trusted source for breaking headlines, global insights, and sharp analysis from around the world. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you never miss an update. Let's dive into a story that's shaking up the entire tech world. A story that's sending shockwaves through boardrooms, labs, and governments alike. This is a development that could change everything we thought we knew about the global technology race. For years, TSMC and Samsung have been the undisputed leaders in producing the world's most advanced computer chips, holding a near monopoly on cutting-edge semiconductor technology. But now, China, led by tech giant Huawei, is making a bold, unprecedented move to break that monopoly and rewrite the rules of the game. The evidence is mounting. Huawei, in partnership with SMIC, is reportedly preparing to produce its own 3 nanometer chips, technology that many experts believed was at least a decade away for China, if not longer. This isn't just about launching a new product, it's a fundamental shift in the global tech landscape, with the potential to disrupt supply chains and alliances worldwide. Imagine a world where the most powerful chips aren't just coming from Taiwan or South Korea, but from China as well, reshaping the balance of technological power. Just a few years ago, Huawei was reeling from unprecedented sanctions, cut off from key technologies and global partners its very survival was in question. But instead of fading into obscurity, Huawei doubled down on research and development, pouring resources into innovation and turning crisis into a catalyst for self-sufficiency. Now, developing 3 nanometer technology isn't just about survival for Huawei. It's a bold statement to the world. Huawei intends not just to survive, but to lead the next era of tech. This is more than a corporate comeback. It's a geopolitical chess move, with every nation watching closely and strategizing their next steps. The ability to manufacture the world's most advanced semiconductors is now seen as a true measure of national power and technological independence. For China, achieving this has been a top national priority for years, and with Huawei at the forefront, that ambitious goal is now closer than ever before. This isn't just about making faster phones or more powerful computers, it's about redrawing the map of technological influence and shifting the center of gravity in the tech world. The stakes? The next decade of innovation, competition, and global power dynamics, where every breakthrough could tip the scales. The world is watching with bated breath as China steps up to challenge the established order, and the implications are enormous. The tech race has a new, formidable contender, and the game is about to change in ways we're only beginning to imagine. What's the big deal about 3 nanometer chips? Let's break it down and see why this tiny number is making such a huge impact in the world of technology. Nanometer refers to the size of transistors, the microscopic switches that control the flow of electricity in a chip. The smaller these transistors are, the more you can fit on a single chip, and the more powerful and efficient that chip becomes. More transistors mean more power, speed, and efficiency fueling the exponential growth of our devices. This is why every new generation of chips brings a leap in what our gadgets can do, from faster smartphones to smarter AI. Moving from 7 to 5 to 3 nanometers is a massive leap, packing billions more transistors into the same space. This isn't just a small step, it's a technological revolution that allows for unprecedented performance and energy savings. The result? Phones with longer battery life, running cooler and lasting all day, even with heavy use. Laptops that breeze through heavy tasks, letting you multitask, edit videos, or run complex software without breaking a sweat, and AI systems that can process vast data at lightning speed, enabling breakthroughs in everything from language translation to medical research. 3 nanometer chips are the backbone of next-gen AI, self-driving cars, and advanced computing. They're the foundation for innovations that will change how we live and work. Without them, progress in AI and tech would stall, the pace of innovation would slow dramatically, and many futuristic ideas would remain out of reach. That's why the race to 3 nanometers is so intense. It's not just an upgrade, it's a gateway to the future. Whoever leads this race will set the pace for the entire tech industry. The companies that master this tech will define tomorrow's products and services, shaping the digital landscape for years to come. It's the pinnacle of engineering, requiring immense expertise, cutting-edge equipment, and billions of dollars in investment. 
Huawei's ambition to join this elite club is monumental. It's a bold move that could reshape the global tech landscape. It's a quest for the holy grail of semiconductors, a symbol of technological leadership and national pride. The outcome will shape the next era of technology, influencing everything from the devices in our pockets to the infrastructure powering our world. To truly grasp the scale of Huawei's challenge, let's rewind to the pivotal year of 2020, a turning point not just for the company, but for the entire global tech industry. That year, sweeping US sanctions abruptly cut Huawei off from advanced chips and its key supplier, TSMC, in a move designed to freeze its technological ambitions and halt its rapid rise. The biggest hurdle? Extreme ultraviolet, or EUV lithography machines, these are the crown jewels of chip making, essential for producing chips, smaller than 5 nanometers, and suddenly, they were completely off limits to China. Without access to EUV, the road to cutting edge 3 nanometer chips seemed permanently closed, leaving engineers and executives facing what looked like an insurmountable barrier. Huawei's market share plummeted almost overnight, and many experts around the world believe China's chip industry was now a decade behind the West. But instead of giving up, Huawei and China's entire tech sector turned inward, pouring billions of dollars into domestic research and development, determined to find their own solutions. The sanctions, intended to block progress, unexpectedly became a powerful catalyst for innovation and self-discovery. Necessity drove a nationwide push for self-reliance, uniting engineers, scientists and policymakers in a common cause. What once seemed like an unbreakable wall became a ramp, launching a new, independent trajectory for China's tech future. It's a classic case of adversity fueling invention, where obstacles spark creativity and drive. Huawei's bold response transformed a roadblock into a springboard, inspiring a new era of technological ambition. The world underestimated their resolve, but this was just the beginning of a remarkable comeback story. So, how do you make a 3 nanometer chip without EUV machines? Enter DUV and SAQP. Huawei and SMIC turn to deep ultraviolet, DUV lithography, older tech but available domestically. The trick, self-aligned quadruple patterning, SAQP, a complex process that splits lines into finer ones through multiple steps. It's intricate, error-prone, and costly, but it works. Yields are lower and production is harder, but for Huawei, it's a strategic necessity. Mastering SAQP on DUV machines means independence from foreign tech. It's a brute force approach, but it's opening a new path to advanced chips. Huawei and SMIC are proving there's more than one way to reach the frontier. Innovation isn't always about having the best tools. It's about making the most of what you have. Shrinking transistors is only half the battle. Design matters too. Huawei's 3 nanometer chip reportedly uses gate all around GAA architecture a leap beyond the industry standard FinFET. GAA wraps the gate around the channel on all sides, giving precise control and slashing current leakage. The result? Chips that are faster and dramatically more power efficient. For users, that means longer battery life and higher performance. For data centers, it means lower energy bills and a smaller carbon footprint. GAA is a breakthrough, unlocking the next level of computing. Huawei isn't just catching up, they're pushing the boundaries of chip design. Competing at the frontier means mastering both manufacturing and architecture. The future of transistors is here, and Huawei wants a seat at the table. Huawei isn't stopping at silicon, they're eyeing the next revolution carbon nanotube chips. These ultra-thin, super-strong tubes conduct electricity better than silicon, promising faster, more efficient processors. Huawei has reportedly validated this tech in the lab, aiming to leapfrog current limitations. Carbon nanotube chips could enable real-time AI on personal devices and supercharge computing power. Mass production is a huge challenge, but Huawei is already working with SMIC to adapt the technology. Their dual-track approach, pushing silicon to its limits while betting on carbon nanotubes, shows vision. They're not just catching up, they're aiming to define the future. The next big leap in chips might not be silicon at all. Huawei's path to 3 nanometers has been a steady climb, not a single leap. The 2023 Mate 60 Pro shocked the world with a 7 nanometer chip made by SMIC, proof China could still compete. Next came a 5 nanometer class chip, using advanced packaging to boost performance, even if yields were 
Lo, each step refined their processes and built confidence. The main event, a true 3 nanometer chip targeted for 2026, this will combine lessons from previous generations with complex SAQP and GAA architecture. If successful, Huawei will be just one generation behind global leaders. Their methodical, iterative approach is key. Each chip is a stepping stone. It's a marathon, not a sprint, and Huawei is proving they have the endurance. The roadmap is clear, and the world is watching. Huawei's rapid progress has the tech world on edge. What was once dismissed as impossible is now seen as inevitable. Even NVIDIA's CEO admits the technology gap is narrowing. Huawei is already testing AI chips to rival NVIDIA's best. Despite US export bans, US companies face a dilemma. Compete with Huawei or risk losing access to China's vast market. Tensions are rising and strategies are shifting. Huawei's resurgence is rewriting the rules of the global chip race. The balance of power in tech is shifting and everyone's paying attention. What does this mean for the future? We're at a turning point. Huawei's push for 3 nanometer chips could end the era of a few companies holding all the keys. Success would prove China can compete at the highest level, reshaping global innovation and supply chains. For consumers, more competition means faster progress and lower prices. The global supply chain could diversify, making tech more resilient. But new challenges loom. The risk of two parallel tech ecosystems, rising geopolitical tensions, and complex trade-offs. The race for tech supremacy is just heating up. Huawei's journey is a lesson in resilience and the power of focused investment. The global tech monopoly is being challenged, and the world is watching. A new era of competition is here, and it will reshape technology for everyone.